And a good day, everybody. Sean Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. It has been a minute, a good minute. Lots been going on. Um, today, I was going to go into a tangent, but I won't do that. But anyway, today we're looking at crowd control. Imperial IPA from Southern Prohibition Company, Brewing Company, uh, down in Kill, Mississippi, Clean Kill, Mississippi, K-I-L-N, Mississippi, of course, the home of Brett Favre, of course, you went to Southern Miss, which isn't that far from there, which is in Hattiesburg, pride and joy of Mississippi. This is an Imperial IPA, 8% ABV. I've had um, Jack the Sipper, which is an ESB, English Style Bitter, as well as their Session IPA, The Devils. Uh, name escapes me what that is now, but um, I did it early back in March of this year. 8%, again, Imperial IPA. I picked this up at Greer's Cash Saver. In Mobile, so we get a lot of Southern Prohibition beers here, and a lot of other craft beers, and not only brewed in the state, but throughout the Southeast region, those in between the state of Alabama and Mississippi is one of those states. Here's what the IPA looks like. Not too shabby, a little bit cloudy. Got the glass out of the fruit out of the freezer. Not too bad. Definitely notes of some tropical fruits in this. Tangerine, orange, grapefruit. Pineapple, maybe some of the papaya in this one. I like the beer can. Mosaic hops are in this, some, some Cascade. Very fragrant. We know it's going to be a bit hoppy. So. One of the type of yeast that they use, I doubt maybe they do, maybe you have a wheat yeast in this. Wheat yeast. Mm. Here we go. Nice. And it's about a good balance. It's not overly hoppy, not overly fruity. It's there, but made bad. Not bad at all. Not bad, guys. Um, nice balance, counterbalance between this. It's really bitterness going down. You get that? I'm getting more uh, a mango, definitely orange, definitely pineapple. You know, like I said, very like 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 a fruit cocktail, very mixed. Pineapple uh, flavor, uh, uh, a mango flavor, a papaya flavor, <clears throat> you know, orange, you know, pieces of uh, maybe some, some some cherry and maybe some uh, pear. It has that sort of tropical, you know, feel that I'm liking in this. So. This, this is this is quite good. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, I've had some good Imperials, you know, for a while now. Um, obviously, New Belgium Imperial. I've had um, New Belgium Voodoo Imperial, I should say. Um, it was Imperial came out from Terrapin had an Imperial IPA. I've had one of theirs. Name is Casey, and I was surprised that Terrapin was bought out, which I'm still trying to figure out how that happened. Um, but um, sold to someone. Um, these are the type of IPAs I, I'm more geared towards, the ones that are a little bit stronger. And, of course, they would, some of the ones that Sam Adams had brought out with the from the Rebel line. Um, there was one, I think it was a double... IPA. Uh, Southern Tier had an Imperial IPA that I enjoyed too. Uh, Southern Tier Brewery. So, there, um, I, I can say, it, I'm geared more towards these styles because it gets the balance, the, the flavor, the the balance of it, the flavor, the, I guess, the form of hops they're, they're using that I enjoy. And maybe the extra booze that's in it, I guess. So I'm, I'm more in line to consume that. And then these other sessional, which are good. I mean, sessional, sessionable IPAs are all right. But people tend to have a negative view about IPAs, so they're so sour and whatnot. But I, you know. There are some that are just, I said, they are very fruit forward and they at least try to give you that beer. I mean, whoever goes who make it pretty, put it together. But they do have that uh, they do have that sort of feel of the same traditional flavor, of a good, good variety of hops. Not making it too overly hoppy, or not, or not making it too under, under hoppy. That makes sense. So, um, syrupy, also a little nice little syrup, syrupy. Natural, like a like a natural syrup, like a, a bit of maybe a dash of honey. I'm getting in this. Let's put a little drizzle of it in this. But it feels that way when I'm tasting this. So, um, so um, yeah, so as I mentioned, uh, I've had two beers from them, uh, three, yeah, two other beers from them. So uh, I think they got a good one here. Uh, you know, again. Uh, if you're in my area, um, sorry about that, guys. So there you go. So the supermarkets that I mentioned, my camera just dropped. <laughs> Live video. But the supermarkets that I mentioned, Greer's Cash Saver, Rouse's in the area here. Um, I can get this pretty much easily. Um, like I said, this is um, this is really good. I'm gonna go A on this one. I, I think that they did an excellent job putting this together. Um, again, love the can design. Just awesome. How the can looks like this. So, um, very good Imperial IPA. Um, think of anybody who's in Mississippi that I know of. I know that he used to do beer reviews with us. I think Brandon Broyle and Jeff Brister, I believe it is. But, um, but yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So, I would love to kind of get, uh, get your, let me know what you think if, if you ever really get this. Uh, Southern Prohibition. Um, interesting enough, the company, the, the state, I should say, even though Prohibition had ended in 1933, there were still some states that were not selling alcohol, still. And Mississippi was one of those states until 1963 when they finally lifted the ban to allow alcohol sales. So it was, you still had in Mississippi, even though they, they, 
you know, readily available, you have like you know, speakeasies, if you will, or certain alleged stores, package stores, uh, or places you can go where you can get some cooch, you know, illegally, uh, like, until they finally lifted the ban, which is, a, which is crazy, like, you know, 1933, they lifted it, but still some states in the South, you know, still have some dry laws that, you know, we've not, no alcohol whatsoever, so, it's just... Those are the times, unfortunately, you know, so, anyway, um, A for me for the crowd control by Southern Prohibition Brewing Company, very good Imperial IPA, I'm going A, that will be a 9.3 score, there you go, John Henderson Pierre, the beverage ramble team, keep on watching, always cheers, live, laugh, and love. Southern Prohibition Crowd Control